Now, I'd like you to think about something. In an average day, how often do you see signs? On the way to work or school? In the car or on public transport? Or just doing some shopping? We are surrounded by signs. And signs can be very useful, can't they? They can help us to avoid getting lost, or they might prevent an accident, or they could even help us to find a bargain. Signs are used in academic talks too, and you'll see them in the talk in section 4 of the IELTS listening test. The speaker uses special language, which we call signpost language, to organise the talk and help you follow the argument. This signpost language can have a number of different functions. In this presentation, I'll give you just a couple of examples. Let's listen to our first example of signpost language. As you listen, think about the function of what the speaker says. Why is this language being used and what type of information is being given? In the lecture today, we'll look at nuclear fusion reactions. So, what did you think? Well, the function of this extract can be described as giving the subject of the talk. A speaker could use this pattern of words at the start of a talk to let the audience know what the overall subject of the presentation will be. It makes the audience feel more sure that they're in the right room and listening to what they wanted to hear about. It also helps understanding by setting a context for the talk, so the audience may start predicting some of the vocabulary and content that they might hear. Let's look at one more example. Now, let's turn to the question of... Now let's turn to... is one of the many ways in which a speaker can signal that they are moving on to a new point or topic. This would be used in the middle of a talk to tell the listeners that a new topic or point about the overall lecture subject is going to be introduced and talked about from now. So, in terms of the lecture content, the listeners know exactly where the talk is going. If you can understand a wide variety of signpost language, you'll be able to follow the speaker more easily and not lose your place. Also, you'll be able to predict what is coming next, which makes understanding a lot easier in the IELTS listening test.